Hi! Today I'll show you how to make a subwoofer sound better and have less sound distortion with some simple tips and tricks. The Texture team has tested dozens of different subwoofers. Unfortunately, most of them have minor problems that can be easily fixed. Improving the overall sound performance of the playback sound except for the distortion noise caused by these sub-problems. To hear the distortion noise of any subwoofer, you need to play specific frequencies on it because you won't hear the specific distortion noise when listening to music. But these noises will make the overall sound dirtier. You can use YouTube or a mobile app to play specific frequencies. Play different bass frequencies for the subwoofer and listen for any overtone in the pure bass. As soon as you hear distortion noise, look for where it's coming from. Now listen carefully to what distortion noise is coming out of that monitor audio subwoofer. Sometimes, at higher bass, the bass reflex port also produces unpleasant distortion noise. But in this case, this sub is fine with that. As you heard, this subwoofer had two serious source of distortion noise. This can be fixed with glue. It costs nothing, but makes more for a significantly cleaner sound. Often this distortion noise is caused by high input terminals, or a power cable that is not fully connected as well as loose sockets on the low level or RCI input, switches, screws that are not properly tightened. So check your subwoofer too and write in the comments if your subwoofer is also making distortion noise and where it is coming from. Once the subwoofer noise has been eliminated, you can start to eliminate room rattling spots in the same way by playing different frequencies on the system, but more on that in another video. I hope this video was helpful. So I'll look forward for your comments on your sources of subwoofer noise. But for now, back to the bass test.